Hi guys, it's Jeremy the Math Person, so I'll be going over question 64 on SOA exam P, so pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume you're attempted, let's just dive right in. So they give you this chart with the claim size and the probability, and then they ask, calculate the percentage claims that are within one standard deviation of the mean claim size. So we first have to find the standard deviation, or we also have to first find mean, right? So mean is quite easy, all you have to do is just 20 times the probability, plus the 30 times the probability, and so on and so on. 40 times 0.05, plus 50 times 0.2, plus 60 times 0.1, plus 70 times 0.1, and lastly, 80 times 0.3. So this is equal to 55. All right, let's find the second moment. So it's basically the same formula as this one, except the x value, which is like the 20 and the 30 and the 40, so and so on, is squared. So I'm going to do Command-C and paste it in here, Command-V. I don't know why I don't write very straight, but it's okay, not my biggest problem. And then just add a little squared in all of them to find the second moment. And you may be asking, why do we need the second moment? Well, that's because the variance formula, our favorite formula, goes like this. It's the second moment minus the first moment squared. And the standard deviation is just the square root of variance. So what is the second moment? So the second moment was equal to 3500. So when we plug that into our variance formula, 3500 minus 55 squared, you get 475. And the square root of 475, that's equal to approximately equal to 21.79. So when we subtract that from a mean, so if mean is 55, one standard deviation away will be 55 minus 21.79, which is the lower limit, 33.21. Or the upper standard deviation, one standard deviation above it will be 76.79. So we just have to find the claim percentage claim size that's between 33.21 so it's 30 between nope that's too small so 40 is included 70 is included is 80 included nope 80 is too big so we just have to add up these probabilities that's within one standard deviation way so add those probability together that's 0.05 plus 0 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 that's equal to 0.45 which is your answer a as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!